How you doing, lawn care guys? Man, this is Pierce Tony with TNT Lawn Care Service, where you get quality service at a reasonable price. <clears throat> and uh, I have a voicemail. And when you call my phone, uh, I should let you. Matter of fact, I could just do it live. So when you ring my phone, whatever, answers, <clears throat> I say, uh, Hello, this is TNT Lawn Care Service, where you get quality service at a reasonable price. I see the trees are getting green and the grass is getting long, and I can see clearly now the rain is gone. So we have your mulch, we got your fertilizer, we got your weed and feed, and all that early spring cleanup work that you don't feel like doing. Let me know what you need. And don't forget to check out our website at tntlawncareservices.com. Till then, God bless you and be encouraged. And that's uh, my voicemail. So a lot of people call that and they say, wow, man, uh, you got the job. Like, I get the job just off of that. Like, I got many jobs just, just because I had that little ring. And one lady, she uh, said, she said, you know what? <clears throat> that made my day. And, and that was just the voicemail, you know, that I was using to break into the market of Atlanta, Georgia. Like, I'm breaking in everywhere I can, man. I hate passing out tracks. I mean, not tracks, but uh, I think of the Bible tracks. But I hate passing out flyers, you know what I'm saying? Getting those flyers out and everybody's door, you know what I mean? And, 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 and putting those out. And, and But I did that here. I did everything I could do here in Atlanta to increase business. And, and, and I mean, every, and, and people just, they just have money. Let me tell you down here in Georgia, let me just explain this. They have discretionary income here. Now, I'm from Ohio. And in Cincinnati, uh, particular, Cincinnati, Ohio, you're not making, man, you're not making uh, you know, that's kind of money. They got, you know, they got a little money because, you know, it's money in law care everywhere. But let's just describe it like this. Cincinnati is more like a box. This place is like uh, the world. Okay. This, so this is the world. And Cincinnati would be a little box sitting on top of the world in a corner over, in the, this, uh, over there. This place right here. Um millionaires live here. Like, it's just plenty of millionaires. Now, I, I know some of you long care guys, you guys live in places and you know you got plenty of millionaires. But I, I live in Cincinnati. You know, when I start long care season in Cincinnati, you guys know. I, I'm, 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 here, I'm here to be a witness and tell you. And you guys know that I, I, I told you, like, you can make a lot of money in long care. I, I got these videos, you know, and and, and I've, I've told you time and time again, yeah, lawn care, man, it's a big business. And that's in a little box on planet Earth, here in over in the corner, so way over here. See, that's where I make a whole lot of money. But now, I moved to Georgia. First of all, the weather is completely different. This is, it's February. Okay, I did a whole lawn care season there, but it's February now, and lawn care season is a full fledged, full fledged. Rolling. What you want to do? You want to cut grass? Cut grass. You want to fertilize? Fertilize. You want to put down weed feed? Put down weed feed. You want to uh, uh, do some landscaping? Put some mulch down? Put some mulch down. They got here what they call pine straw. That's added income. Like, what? I said, what? When they came out, I said, what is that stuff they putting down? It's like, it's, all, it's like hay. But it's not hay. It comes in bales like hay, but it's it's not, hey, now, we ain't had this since now. I don't know what the heck this stuff was. But they said you could make money off that. I see how beautiful it looks. You know, sort of like how you would do landscaping in Cincinnati on a mulch job. You know, people get mulch around their bushes and their hedges and things. They get the pretty mulch, you know, spread around. And maybe they might have a tree in the middle of their front lawn, you know. And it's around it. It's rocks. And it has full of uh, mulch bed of, uh, you know, brown, uh, uh, red, or, or black mulch. And, you know, you know that looks pretty and it sets it off. And, but this pine straw is a different thing, folks. I come down here, and, and you could buy this pine straw for three eighty-five a bale, 
you know, and uh, 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 at the, if you're a contractor, and I'm a contractor, so I get it for 385 bell. Otherwise, you can go to Lowe's or Home Depot. They offer it for four bucks or something, a little more for a little four bucks a, a bell, you know. <clears throat> And it's cheaper. It's uh, uh, you don't want to get it from Lowe's or Home Depot. Don't, don't get it from there. You got to go to these uh, these places that got the long needle pine straw that sell the car, uh, contractors. You just get it from them. And, and, and three eighty five bell. You can lay that stuff down, man. You twenty bells of that. You know what I'm saying? You you man, just charge five hundred dollars. People give me five hundred, seven fifty to drop them down. Maybe maybe fifty bells. I'll drop it down for seven hundred fifty dollars. They'll say, sure, go on. I say, what? Not with a smile on my face. You know, I say, oh, yes, okay. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, let's see. Um, I have some, also some um, uh, weed killer that has to go down before that. And that weed killer has to go down to bed. That way you won't get the weeds coming through the pine straw. Uh, I usually ch sell that about 150. I can give it to you right now for about seven, uh, about 70 bucks. Uh, let's say, go on. Just add in anything else, <laughs> you know. So coming to Georgia is like a brand new experience because Cincinnati they refused that. They probably won't want to do that. They say, well, let me think about that. Maybe in next season we can start a project. <laughs> but when you're here in Atlanta, you're knocking on door, doo -doo -doo -doo, you know, and uh, you run into your customer and say, yeah, that's why I always try to talk to them. You know, uh, here. Uh, uh, you know how you you know go through the emails and you know say okay I'll be over there at this time you don't have to see them you know and that's fun in Cincinnati that way you don't have to worry about it. but here you want to see them because if you can see them you can talk to them and you can sell them on the rest of the stuff yeah I can get I can get them to buy anything like trimming the trees or trimming the bushes add on you know in Cincinnati you might if a person you know say well I like my bushes trimmed and I can throw in an extra twenty. You know, if you can do the bushes, and you say, well, wait a minute, man, I charge, I charge 50 for all my bushes, you know. Any bushes, you know, I charge, and they say, well, okay, man, can you do it 40, 45? You say, oh, okay, I could do it, I mean, okay, yeah, yeah, 45. But in Georgia, they say, well, how much would you do the bushes for? And, and, and everything, you know, you say you cut the grass 50. And they say, well, how much you do if, uh, the bushes on the front and maybe around the side there? You know, says Natty, you know, you, you struggling to get fifty. You know, here you say, well, I tell you what, give me four fifty. Can you handle four fifty? They say, well, shoo, shoo, woo, that was gonna be more than that. Yeah, I can handle four fifty. Thank you, oh, man. I, what about the back? Can you do anything back? Woo, boy, it's like you hit the lottery, man. You know, you walk in the gas station, buy one of those scratch offs. You know, what I'm saying, scratch the thing off, look like, whoa, bingo. You know, hit five thousand. You know, so that's how it feels in every job I get here. You know, every job, it seems that I'm getting, man, I'm hitting the jackpot, man. So it feels good if you're a bachelor or somebody, you don't have, you know, anything going, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you just got out of prison, you know, like I had, uh, 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 maybe you, 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 you don't have anything going in life, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you got your, you know, any guy that's a lawn care, uh, you know, professional anywhere in, uh, 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 somewhere in the north or the midwest, where you get those winters and it's freezing cold, you know, and you're off and you're like, man, what am I gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Uh, come on down here to Atlanta, Georgia, buddy, and get on thumbtacks.com and get you a, a, a home advisor. Just go in there, advertise. Plenty of other things down here, and they word of mouth. It's like that down here. Once you somebody get a good word on you, woo, they call everybody. You'll be working for everybody if you want. And not, there's plenty of people. Don't worry about the competition. If you just get down, anybody that got a lawn care truck or a trailer, uh, I'm telling you, just get on down here and you'll have nothing going on. I got my family. I moved down here with my family. I took my wife, my uh, daughter, and my son. Teenagers. We came down to Georgia. Money is just as good. It's always going to be good as anywhere or probably you ever been. I done ran a whole lawn care season. I done went all the way from uh, wire to wire. It's good money here. I promise you. It's good money here. It's good money. I'm going to make way more than any place that's going to shut down in the winter. You're going to make way more money than that. 
And, and it's just too much landscape to say no. It's too much. And it's, it's not, uh, uh, you don't have to worry about competing. You're going to have plenty of people down here. Even with the market, market's kind of, you, it, it's, it's weird, you know what I mean? Because you got people working for 50 cents, you know what I mean? And people doing jobs for two two dollars, you know? Like, what? I, I don't want to be like a judgment. I don't want this to sound like I'm being judgmental of people or a area. Please don't, don't think that I'm doing that at all. But when you go down below I-20 here in Atlanta or Georgia area, anywhere, uh, the Atlanta, Georgia, greater Atlanta, there's an a area that drops under I-20. And I-20 runs east-west. East-west. So you're coming down. You're either north of that or you're south of that when you're in the Atlanta area. North of that or south of that. When you go south of that, the... Actual rate in your mowing or any landscape work at all, it's gonna be way down. The market is way down, buddy. You, 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 you barely. You know, y'all know I in Cincinnati. I don't do nothing less than thirty-five dollars. But in Atlanta, it's fifty. I don't do anything less than fifty because you're gonna be driving all around town all day. You know what I mean? You could be from. Uh, <clears throat> One place to the next could be an hour, 40 minutes in driving. So, but if you could just get like a lawn care job, you know, just some kind of landscaping, <clears throat> you could make $2,800 in that one place. See, you could make the money here. There's plenty of money to be made here. And, 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 but if you drop below I-20, uh, you're only going to get about $25 for uh, cutting them grass, them lawns down there. You know, so I was, you know, I was <laughs> struggling, you know, uh, 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 to to ask these people pay fifty. Like I, I, in my heart, like when I'm at their house looking at the way things look in the neighborhood, the community, you start to know, like, can they for thirty dollars? I mean, I'm trying to get fifty here in the land. Like, I'm scared to ask them for thirty five. Like, you got it. Uh, well, uh, hell, I'll just do it for free. You know, I did. I, I just cut people yard for free. You know, like here, don't even worry about it. Mm, so when you get down by I twenty, you're looking at charity work. Anything you do, so a, a job I would charge twenty five hundred dollars way up north in Marietta or Cobb County, uh, anywhere, uh, or Sandy Springs or Dunwoody or Brookhaven, anywhere up there, I can get. You know, uh, $2,800, $3,500 for any landscape work. But you go down below I-20 and you don't even say that. Like, 28, don't even, don't even fix your mouth to even look like you're going to say nothing like that. Because they say, well, I went to a guy and um, pulled up. I had to wait for him to get home. I had been there. I had sat there for about 30 minutes. He was supposed to meet me at two. And so I, I was there. You know, I had been there. He pulled up about, you know, 40 minutes later. And, uh, you know, I said, uh, well, he took me to the back, showed me around. I had already seen it before he came. And uh, we looked around, and uh, I had already registered in my mind that, you know, this was at least, at minimum, $1,500. At minimum, that's just... None of them, like, because you got a whole lot of work need to be done, and I got a whole lot of dumping need to be. I got to make some dump runs, or either that or I'm going to have to order a, 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 what do you call that big old uh, dumpster? You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 this is a, a whole lot of weeds I got to pull down, and I got to cut up, and, and, and uh, I got a whole, it's just enormous, a high, grand, I mean, it's just, Woo, a whole lot of work with leaves and sticks and rocks and all kind. You almost need a bobcat, but I ain't going I don't have to bring that in on this job. But it's just like that though. Like this is a whole lot of work. So 
at least $1,500. And if I was up north, like Brookhaven, Sandy Springs, Marietta, Cobb County, I would probably say about $4,500. Yeah, probably jumped. Sure. They may have said, well, maybe 